for the manufacturing sector to be fully functional and produce optimally to spur economic growth, focus has to be placed where it counts the most. We have the food processing sector, we have the beverage sector, and we have the tobacco sector. These, these sub-sectors alone account for 50% of the entire manufacturing sector in this country. And they account, these three alone account for 47% of all our exports. So that means that for this country, if we are to grow, we must focus on food processing because we are an agricultural, sec an agricultural economy. But this has to go hand in hand with the relevant bodies, ensuring that things are done differently for the sector to stand out. The way to go is to add value, and we can only add value through manufacturing. So it is our number one in terms of uh, uh, facilitation and, uh, and uh, improving the way they are doing business. The other issue that we should look at is how do we ensure that there's more research? We create more linkages between industry and the academia to ensure that there's more research, there's more innovation within the manufacturing sector. The end goal for the manufacturing sector is to increase the number of exports and in turn increase the amount of forex coming into the country. For this to happen, again, the government has to ensure that there's an enabling environment. Uh, we say exports are zero rated. So we don't. Exports are not taxed as they cross. So uh, you have to show evidence that they were exported, but they are zero rated. Uh, what that means, therefore, people should not fear to formalize, to do formal trade, because even if you feel the export certification, you need to be charged. And still on the issue of exports, the regulatory framework is key and cannot be undermined. E-portal will enable you in the comfort of your house, in the comfort of your home, to launch in your application, clear your goods, track the, uh, where those goods are, and eventually be able to clear them. Other projects, for example, the NTB monitoring mechanism, that one has a success story of about 92%. Because out of uh, 57 cases, 52 were all handled through that system. And above all, creating a fair and favorable environment for ease of doing business. We have the investment code, which uh, has supported a number of investors. And by so doing, we are able to have our national nationals investing as well as uh, those coming from outside. For the manufacturing sector to fully thrive and support the economy, and by extension the local currency, there's need for adequate all-round support towards the local entrepreneurs and enabling business environment, as well as interventions geared towards uplifting the ailing parts of the sector by the relevant authorities. Ingrid Nantege, NTV.